Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be just doing my makeup. Um, I've created this look today. I just kind of guessed as I went along. Um, I tried a few new products. I used the, the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, P. Louise Bases, um, and I just tested some things out. Some things did not go well, uh, some things did, and this is the final look. So if you want to see how I created this look and just have a chat and play with makeup, then carry on watching. So I'm going to start off with brows and I'm going to be using the Brow Power Pencil with by It Cosmetics and I'm just going to shape out my brows as usual and fill them in. I never really use this brow product, product just because I'm not the biggest fan but I thought I'd give it another go today just to see what it would be like if it would work differently. Maybe it just wasn't working with my skin before but it just didn't seem to come up too much and you have to press really hard to get the product that's how it like feels anyway on the other end of it it's got a spoolie so i'm just going to brush that out it doesn't seem to be too bad it's just you do need to press a little bit harder just to get some product i guess my brows are all done and i'm going to go in with the p louise base this is in shade 01 and I'm just going to pop it all over my eyelids. Just going to use this flat brush. And at the same time, just carving out my brows. So this is like, this will give your brows a really nice outline um, to shape them really nicely. But obviously also it's an eye base, so it just brightens the look. It gives your eye just a bit of a base before putting on any shadows, so it all blends in nicely and the pigment is definitely there. So I'm going to do one eye on camera and then I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'm also doing my eyes first today because I'm going to be using the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star and I'm going to be creating like a red kind of look so I don't want the fallout to go on my foundation so I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush and going into the shade which is the brightest red which is Prick. So Just popping that on my eyelid. Everybody loves these P. Louise bases and I like them but I just don't, I don't think I'm completely understanding them to be honest. I need to do some more research on them I think because they're just not working how everybody's saying they work for them. So maybe I'm doing something wrong but it just seems like everybody says that um, you know it makes the products brighter and stuff but I don't think that happens to me every time I've used it the products haven't been any brighter they've just been like the same or worse to be honest maybe I just need to maybe I need to set it I'm gonna have to have a look and see see what um what they recommend because I don't set it I've tried setting it I've tried not setting it I've seen somewhere the other day that you should you should keep it dewy and then apply your product so I've tried that today it's doing all right. I mean, the product blends nicely on top of it. That's definitely true, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I continue to use them, so they're not bad. They're just, um, I just don't, I don't see the color pigment coming through, but maybe it's the palettes I'm using. I'm not sure. So now that that's blended in nicely, just add some more to the outer corner. I'm just blending that out a little bit like that so now i'm going to use the same base again and pop that on my uh lid to do a cut crease these are definitely good for cut creases because i usually used to use concealer and it just doesn't come out as pigmented as these so they're definitely good for that crease takes me such a long time because I do one and it looks good and then I do the other one and it's not as rounded and then it just takes me forever so if you pat it down like that rather than just scrape it across it will it will keep the pigment there you know it will keep the product in place 
and it will also soak it into the skin so it takes less time to dry up that's the crease that cut so I've just done it really simple really um, and I'm just going to pop a bit more product there because I've kind of lost it a little bit where I've put the base on I'm also going to go into cherry soda which is a darker red which is next to it and pop that above just to give it a bit of a deeper red sometimes once you put the uh, crease on it kind of loses the colour of the top top shade so just do that and then I'll probably just get a clean brush and blend that in I like this one it's from Real Technique it's like a duo fiber eye brush so it really blends out nicely so Jeffree Star in this palette it has a white shade called glucose so I'm going to give that a go I think but I'm just going to pack that on with a little flat brush instead so I can get up close to the edges. At least then I can I can pop it on the edges so that that part's sorted and then I can define it a little bit more. Maybe spray some set and spray on my brush or um, use my finger to pack on the product a little bit more. Because doing that will make the pigment a bit much clearer than if you don't do it and you just use a brush. So now that's all covered, I'm just going to pop a little bit more product with my finger on the main part of the lid just to make the white stand out even more. I mean that white is so pigmented now, it looks really nice. That's probably my favourite white that I've got, white eyeshadow, is that this one from this palette because it's so pigmented. Ooh. So I would usually use a black eyeliner but I don't think I'm going to because I want the uh, white to stand out so I'm going to do the bottom lash line, my lower lash lines. I think I might pop on a purple or maybe this one, Fresh Meat, so it's like a purpley pink, a purpley red colour. So I'm going to pop that on the lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with Fresh Meat again and just pop it on the outside of the white just to make it a bit darker on the red there so it stands out a little bit more and then just gently blend it out probably just going to wing this out a little bit as well, the bottom just like that first I'm going to put on some mascara then lashes but I might do that once I've done the other eye so I'm going to put I bought a load of um, like diamantes from the shop the other day. I actually got them from the range in the crafts section. Because I do a lot of makeup looks, I like to just change it up a bit, add some gems. So I'm going to use the red ones from here because they've got some little ones on here. So I'm going to grab my tweezers and just pop a couple on here. two's enough I was gonna do three but I think two looks quite nice so here's this side done I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll be back to do mascara and lashes and then my full face so both eyes are now done um, and they're looking kind of similar <laughs> so um, I've got the gems on both sides and now I'm going to go in with mascara so I'm gonna be using this W7 absolute lashes just to coat my lashes before putting on false lashes and then I think I'm going to pop on these unicorn lashes these are in unicorn flutter I love these lashes for like um, a more dramatic look like this one because they're really nice and um, like wispy and long so they look really nice so I'm going to be using just the duo lash glue just to be popping and while I'm waiting for them to go tacky I am just going to start moisturising so I'm just going to go in with the IT, Cosmeti it Cosmetics Confidence Gel Lotion and popping that all over my face I've only just done another makeup look so my face really needs moisturising and I think this evening I'm going to film like a pamper with me because I really need to pamper myself. Like I need a bath, I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to use a bath bomb, I'm probably going to wax, wax my eyebrows, do a face mask and do a bit of skincare. 
just to make me feel a little bit better and my skin just a bit more hydrated again because of all the makeup looks that I'm doing recently recently and all the YouTube videos my skin is just getting so dry so the lashes should be fine now to pop on So that's the lashes done, they're very long, very wispy, but I think they look okay with a cut crease like this. So now I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm actually going to mix the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and the Milani, Milani Conceal and Perfect together because this one's a little bit dark and this one's a little bit light. So if you mix them both together then it should be okay and I've just splattered that everywhere. It's not really my shade to be honest. but it's gonna have to do because I'm so pale at a minute I can't figure out which foundation I own that is like best suited to me I need to I need to tan and then I can figure it out I can go back to my normal it cosmetics foundation but because their shade range is so low uh, that I love their foundation but because they've got such little shade range um, you know when I'm when I'm really pale it's not really I haven't really got a shade for me because I use light usually so you know if I'm really pale and I haven't got any tan on then I need like XX light. I usually just leave it under my eyes because I'm just going to go over that anyway when I've done a look when I'm doing my foundation after I usually use that leave that part because it's so hard to get there with a um with your foundation but when I use my concealer I'll just go in there with it. To be honest I've just had a look closer and this is not looking nice on my skin at all. I don't know why my skin is just like separating all the um, foundation that I'm putting on lately and I've just tried another one as well the ordinary one and that's also not really going well on my skin so I don't know what's going on there but I'm going to use this um I'm going to use the NYX HD concealer just under my eyes on my nose in my usual areas just on that spot over there because it's annoying <laughs> And I'm going to use a beauty blender just to blend it in. Hopefully that will blend it in nicely with this foundation as well. And stop the foundation like separating. So that is blending alright into my foundation. It's making it look a little bit better. Once I put powder on as well I think it needs setting in place before it separates anymore. So I'm going to use the Set and Reflect um, MUA Luxe Powder. Uh, and I'm just going to pop that all over my face just to set the foundation and the concealer into my skin and then I'm going to go in with bronzer and I feel like the bronzer would really help this look because because my foundation that's separating it's not really looking that great but I think once I've put on um once I put on bronzer, it will definitely define my face a little bit more and look a bit better, hopefully. I think I'm going to use the Benefit because that's a safe option and I know that's going to look alright on my skin. So hopefully that will save it a little bit. And so already I think my, my, my cheeks look much better, a bit more defined, a bit more colour. I don't think I'm going to mix them two foundations together again because I think the Milani, M the Milani one is too thick so I don't think it's very nice when it's mixed in together with, some, with another foundation. And then I'm going to get some blush because I think that will help as well. I'm going to use the Accessorise Blush and this is in the shade Scandal. If you put too much on get your foundation brush and just put it over it a little bit and it will tone it down. So now I'm going to go in with a highlight and I'm going to use the Sleek Solstice palette and I'm probably going to use the pink shade because even though this is a red look it looks a little bit pink so I think the pink shade would look nice with this. I love all the shades in this palette they're all so like pigmented and glowy and you can really build them up to look really nice. So I think my skin definitely looks much better now. I'm just going to get a smaller brush and I'm just going to pack that. Um, why can't I find one? So I'm just going to get like a smaller brush 
and just pat that highlighter in the inner corner as well and again I'm using the same pink shade from the palette I think it has the shades actually on the back so the shade is hmm, Hemisphere and I'm going to pop some on my brow as well just there and now all that's left to do is lips I think I want to do a red lip even though it's no, I'm not. I'm gonna do a nude lip because I've got creative eyes and I want to keep the attention on the eyes. So I'm just gonna use this We Makeup lip liner. This one's in the shade 09. Then I'm just gonna go in with this Profusion liquid lipsticks. This is a nudie shade. They don't actually have shades on them, so I can't tell you which one it is, but it's a nude. And then I think I'm going to just top it off with a gloss. I'm going to go in with the Pixi Clear Gloss and just pop a little bit on the middle just to make them a bit glossier. And this is the final look. So um, I think it was quite easy. I tried to explain it as easy as possible. We've got a few gems on there, cut crease, and we use the Blood Sugar Palette um, and the P. Louise bases. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and press the bell icon for notifications for when I upload new videos in the future. And I shall see you in my next one.